I'm actually relatively optimistic that at, at a, the, 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 it, is too, it is too big to fail, and I think there's a realization on both sides that it really is. It's an, it's an incredible relationship, and it's going to stumble forward in some way, shape, or form into the foreseeable future. So, so you're not too discouraged by the sort of the, the crackdown that you would describe? Totally discouraged by it, yeah. So, I mean, I have friends who are in jail. I mean, you know, these but guys how does are that bastards. Fit in the grand trajectory of because progress. things go. I mean, you have two steps forward before you, yeah. you know, one step back. I mean, it's 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 part of the their whoop and weave of trying to, you know, muddle through. And I, and, and I mean, the SOE reform is dead for the time being, and she is acting like a Maoist. And I mean, it's not very good news. But at the same time, I also you know know a lot of Chinese people, and I see them kind of just you know, nose to the grindstone, moving forward, wanting a better country. And I think that that, and especially the, even, even, the, even the, the younger generation, those people are very impressive. So, so I have uh, some, you know, optimism about it. Yeah. Liz, I you think, get no, to I was just thinking, you know, uh, Tom, no? yeah, no, I, it's not a question, just a, a thought that, I don't know whether Tom Gold at Berkeley, uh, you know, had the idea originally, but he does talk about this sort of, you know, fang and show, this sort of opening and this so, closing, yeah. the tightening and the loosening, and um, it seems to me that fits in well with, with what you're describing, you yeah. know, in China, that yeah. the impulses will come back again. They're still there, right? Well, the reason why they're cracking down is because there's so much pressure to change. Right? I mean, it's not because everyone's like saying, hey, cool, you guys are great. No, it's because there's a lot of pressure for change. Mm -hmm. And you see it, I mean, Weibo was great, and then it kind of died, and now everyone's on WeChat, and people are sending stuff out on WeChat, and there's just a lot of information moving around society. And so because of this pressure, it's not that the party's making up its paranoia. It, it is right to be paranoid because people want a better country. They want a freer country. I think that's very clear. Okay, final yeah. question from me. Do you think China will evolve peacefully, or do you think there's going to be some great tectonic orogeny and the earth will open? Uh, I, have, I have no idea. All I know is that I often go to bed at night thinking that tomorrow is going to be the same as yesterday, and one day it's not going to be. And I think that that's a potential fate that China could, 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 could have. One of, the pro one of the good things I think that's ch is happening in China is that in 89, nobody had anything in China, right? And so people could have a revolution because they didn't have anything to, to lose. Now, in the urban areas in China, everybody owns an apartment. They all have stuff, and they don't want to lose it. And I think that um, uh, militates against an, an explosion, and it pushes people more towards a desire for an evolutionary change, which I think would be better for them, and definitely for the world. Yeah.